Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, I am Umar E. Nafara and I am a medical doctor here in Nigeria. And in this channel, I make videos on medicine, lifestyle, my journey as a founder of a non-governmental organization, and sometimes I even talk about books. In today's video, I will be touching on the monthly breast self-examination. And I feel like now it is the right timing for me to make this video because it is October and October is regarded as the International Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So in this video, I will be touching on the monthly breast self-examination based on three outlines. First, why is it important? And secondly, when is it supposed to be done? Then lastly, I will be touching on how is it done. While answering how it is done, I will try to be as practical as possible using some illustrations, videos and demonstration on how it should be done with some explanations. So stay tuned. Why monthly breast self-examination is important is basically because it helps individuals, especially women, to detect early changes in their breast and also report to doctors. For it, if it is cancer, it can be detected early and treated without many complications. Over 90% of individuals whose breast cancer is diagnosed early, they have chances of over 5 years survival rate. And also around 40% of breast cancers are believed to be detected through monthly breast self-examination alone. When is it supposed to be done? Monthly breast self-examination is supposed to be carried out third to fifth day after menstrual period. It is recommended that individual need to have one regular day for her breast self-examination. For instance, if one is doing it on the third day after period, then it is supposed to be the third day after period and nothing else, not to be interchanging between third, fourth, and seventh day. Just try to have routine day of doing so. On how to perform the monthly breast self-examination, it basically entails two steps which has sub-steps under each. And for the first step is the visual approach, which is examination in front of a mirror just to visualize without touching. And for the second step is palpation approach in which you will be touching as it is directed in this video. Guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.